Hi guys, I'm Adam from Car Enhancements UK. Today I've got a good one. So we're back in the media room and today I'm going to talk to you about this new product. Um, it is a gloss black rear window add-on for the Mark 8 Fiesta. Now, what it is, on the, rear, on the rear windscreen, on each side, you'll notice that you've got the arrow-shaped matte black textured um, covers, and they're a bit garish and they're a bit nasty. Now, we've been getting asked for nearly two years, is there any way that we can get rid of the matte black and go gloss black? And that's where these come in. So, these are basically a cover that just attaches over the top. It gets rid of all the horrible plasticky looking nastiness and it replaces it with a gloss black cover. So, in this package, you receive two alcohol wipes, two covers, and the covers already have the tape applied. This is our own product. This is made by Car Enhancements UK. They're actually manufactured here in the UK. Uh, what I'll do is I will post the video of them being made here now. So as you've just seen, these are vacuum formed here in the UK and we are the only company currently that is doing these and these are protected under British design right. So I'm going to talk you through now what's included in the packet and uh, obviously what they do. So just before I go any further, I just want to point out this sticker. Now this may look different on the ones that you've received, we may change it and update it over time, but it will generally say the same thing. And this is an explanation on how to install them. If you don't follow these, they will come off. And if they come off due to incorrect fitting, then unfortunately that's not covered under warranty. So in the kit, <clears throat> you get a left and a right cover. They come with the tape already applied and they also come with a protective film on the surface. So if you open them up and you think, oh, they look a bit scratched and they look a bit nasty, all you need to do is skim back that little bit of film, as you can see there. The alcohol wipes, there's one for each side. And what you need to do is make sure that you clean and dry both areas fully before using this. This is literally the final step before installing. As I mentioned, they're just a simple gloss black cover and it simply fits over the existing cover. So it's just a simple little add-on and uh, these are going to take probably about two or three minutes to install. All you're going to need to fit this is some warm soapy water. So that's either some washing up liquid in a bucket in hot water or some car shampoo. Uh, please don't use anything that's silicon based like a, you know, like a, a paint enhancer. So like a quick detail spray, don't use anything like that. It needs to literally be warm water with soap, that's all. And then the only thing, other thing that you're going to need is a little bit of patience and an eye to get them straight. Let's go do it. Right, so I'm just going to show you on the one side and all I've got here is a measuring jug or just any jug or bucket or anything and this has just got a bit of car shampoo with boiling hot water. I've got a sponge and I'm going to use a scouring pad and then I've got a clean, never used cloth. And all we're going to do, we're going to dip the sponge in there, just wring it out a little bit, it's absolutely boiling and just give this a really, really good scrub. And all we're doing is just getting all the dirt and grime off. Now the reason why we're going in with this and not just using the alcohol wipe straight away is because if you just go in with the alcohol wipe, even though it will clean some, all it will do is it will move around the dirt that's already on there. And it may leave a little bit on the, uh, the surface and you won't get the desired cleanliness. So once you've just given that a good scrub, as you saw, I went over it twice. I'm just gonna take this cloth and we're just gonna clean it off. And all you're going to do is just make sure it's clean and dry. Now, what I would advise, if you're doing this outside, just leave it for a couple of minutes and just let, make sure that it is fully dry. As you can see, there's the odd bit that's just been a bit stubborn and won't dry. Just make sure that you get all of that off before trying to stick it. Because it's got a textured surface, if there is anything on there at all, any water or dirt, the tape will not stick. So now this is dry. We've left that a couple of minutes just to make sure that it is dry. I had to get the edge of the cloth just in the gaps there just to make sure that there was no overlapping uh, water that could seep in. What you're going to do now is you're going to take, take your wet wipe or your alcohol wipe and don't open this until you're actually going to use it because it does dry out. So you're just going to open it and you'll see that you've got a nice fairly big wipe. 
Now, even though the wipe is big enough to do both windows, don't be tempted to use it on both. Use one wipe per window, per side, sorry. And all you're gonna do, just gonna take it and clean every single surface. Now, every surface means the side, the face, and even in, right into the corners. Now, you're gonna say to me, why am I cleaning all the surface when the tape's only in certain places? It's just good practice, you know? So just make sure you give it a really good scrub Obviously there's no dirt on there now because we've got that off with the soapy water and we're just going to keep going over it until you feel that the wipe is starting to get a little bit dry, which is starting to get dry now. And you can see there's no dirt on there because we've already got it all off. So leave that about 20 seconds. If you look at it, you'll see that it starts to evaporate and we're just going to then take the cloth again, and just fully dry it off. So if you're doing this in the height of winter, now I'm filming this in the middle of July, it's quite warm outside. If you're doing this in the height of winter, this will be cold and the part that you're sticking on will be cold and so will the tape and it probably won't form a bond. What you can do, if you want to get a stronger bond, just get a hairdryer or a heat gun and just put a little bit of heat on there and on the tape before you attach it. Don't go stupid with the heat because you will cause damage. Don't go too close with the heat. Just use a faint little bit of warm, so it's just warm to touch. Just so when you do this, it feels like touching skin, and that will make it give a form of a firmer bond. So as you can see, that's now fully cleaned and fully dried, and we're now going to stick it on. So the next step is to attach this cover. Now what I'd say before going bush straight in and getting it wrong, just line it up and just see where you're going to want it to go. Because obviously the last thing you want to do is stick it too far down here and go, Shit, I've stuck it in the wrong place. Now, what we normally advise, tuck it up into there. So as you can see, it sort of forms in and then it lays down nicely. And what you'll do there is you'll ensure that that goes right to the top. So when you've figured out where you're gonna stick it, simply remove the cover on the tape. And there's normally between two and four pieces, depending on the, uh, the tape used. And I might speed this bit up. There you go, you just see me do some Superman shit. Um, so don't peel this off just yet, and the reason being is when you're pushing it down, I don't want you to scratch it, because it is gloss black plastic, and you could scratch it when you're rubbing it and wiping it, etc. So now we've took the tape covering off, we're gonna do what I said, you're gonna line it up where you want it, sort of tuck it into the gap, and then as you come down, you'll feel it sink in, and there you go, it's on. And all you're gonna do is gently push all the way down where you saw that the tape strip was. Now, just be mindful, it is a window. Don't be giving it all this, because you might cause damage to the glass. Don't be pushing it too hard, because if you push on this corner, you might fracture the window. All you need is two thumbs, just to run gently down where the tape was, okay? And as you can see, it's now in place. It's a good solid bond. Next thing you're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this clear film, okay? So you're just gonna grab it by a corner and simply peel it off. It says simply, but it's mugging him off now. So we'll start at the bottom instead. And uh, simply there, just be gentle up near the top, because obviously it tucks in. And there you have it. That's all now on. Lovely gloss black. And I'm gonna go now and do the other side, and I'll come back to you in a minute. So that's them now on the car and fitted. As you can see, the fitment is really, really good and they go all the way around. And you can't see any of the old cover at all. It comes all the way around the cover. Rather than just being a face, it actually comes all around the side. You can see that it still retains the shape of the existing one. So all we've done is change it from horrible nasty plastic to gloss black. And I think that they look absolutely brilliant. So there you have it, they're both on. You've just seen how easy it was. Obviously there's a few steps involved. You'd probably just think I'll go straight in with a wet wipe, don't do it. Um, but you know, it's really simple to do. A little bit of soapy water and a wet wipe and it just goes on. Uh, something so small has actually changed the look of the car. The car now looks premium. If you look at your Ford Focus Mark IV, your new shape, you look at your Puma, they come with a gloss black cover and it just looks so much better. Then you get the Fiesta, everything's gloss black, except for that cover. It's it just, it's simple little things. On the facelift, they've tinted the lights and made it look really nice, but still kept 
the crappy plastic trims. So these will fit all models of Mark 8 Fiesta. That is the Mark 8 pre-facelift, the Mark 8.5 facelift, which this is. They'll fit ST, they'll fit ST line, they will fit Vignale, they'll fit Style, they'll fit every single model, even the active. Um, the £53, they're in stock for next day delivery. And it's something so small that you'll probably fit and forget about, but it will completely transform the rear end of your car. So get your order in now. I hope that the video has been really helpful for you. Please follow it. Please share it to any of your friends that have purchased the set. And if you want to stay tuned, we've got a lot more content coming for this car. And in the future, we've got more cars coming, more parts coming. So please give it a like and a subscribe if you liked it. Drop any comments below and I will reply to every single comment. But yeah, see you on the next one. Back to the rhythm, you don't stop.